Today on our 2017 Chrysler Pacifica, we're going to take a look at and also show you how to install the Drawtight Max Frame Custom Fit Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver. It offers the 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening. Its part number is 76046. Now here's what our hitch is going to look like installed. As you can see, something I like about this hitch, our cross tube stays pretty hidden up behind the fascia. That's different than what we've seen from some of the other hitches. Of course, that's going to come over here to our receiver tube opening. This is two inch by two inches. Reinforcement collar around the end there looks pretty nice and neat. We've got our safety chain connection points that come out here. We've got oval shaped openings that kind of run along in line with the vehicle. And there should be plenty of room there for you to connect whatever style chain you might want to. You see in this hitch, there are two holes in the receiver tube itself. The one closest to the front of the vehicle is the one that we're going to use to secure all of our items with. That's 5 eighths of an inch in diameter, and you'll see there's plenty of room there even if you wanted to use a locking hitch pin or anti-rail device. Now one of those anti-rail devices available is called the J-Pin Stabilization System. That's the only time we'll use that hole closest to the rear, and you'll want to ensure anything you do use in your 5 eighths hole is rated for Class 3 use. Now a Class 3 hitch is an extremely versatile hitch. It's going to work out for cargo carriers, for bike racks, hauling trailers, whatever you might want to use it for there should be an application available in class 3. Now the hitch offers a tongue weight rating of 675 pounds that would be the maximum downward force that we would put here at the receiver tube opening and it's going to offer a 4500 pound gross trailer weight rating that would be the total weight of your trailer and anything you were to load up on it. It is rated for use with weight distribution the tongue weight's going to stay the same at 675 pounds the gross trailer weight rating however it goes up to 5000 pounds you will want to consult the owner's manual on the Pacifica, figure out what its tow rating is, and use whichever of those numbers are the lowest. You'll see the draw tight also has a bracket that's been welded onto it already for attachment of wiring. It's going to have three pre-drilled holes, so you can use a couple different brackets we've got here, whether you're using a seven pole or a four pole, and uh, get that connected there without having to purchase additional brackets to go around the hitch. Now a few measurements that will be helpful in selecting your ball mount, bike rack, or hitch cargo carrier will be from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's about four and a half inches. Then from the ground to the inside top edge of our receiver tube opening, we've got about 12 and a half. And with that being the case, we do recommend choosing accessories that have a rise in the shank just to promote better ground clearance at the rear of whatever accessory you have loaded up. Now to begin our installation, we need to get this exhaust lowered down and out of the way a little bit. We've got three hangers that we'll use to do that. It's going to be one located right here inside the tailpipe area. It's a good idea to spray these down with a little bit of spray lubricant there. Usually helps those slide off better. Then we bring the tailpipe forward here. It's going to be one right in this flat spot. And we may or may not need to remove the one located right over here. Now before we do drop those, we'll want to put a strap underneath it just to give that exhaust some support like that. And then we've got a pry bar here. You could also use a large screwdriver. We just want to get those kind of pushed off this end there. We'll just put a little bit of slack in the strap there. That'll allow that to come down where we can get some tools in here and work. Next thing we're going to do is get our heat shield removed so we can trim it and put it back into position. See we've got the four plastic nuts. The white one's going to be above the exhaust. It's just made to handle a little bit higher temperature. We've got one, two, three, and four connection points. Then you'll just pull down. Now in the instructions, it's gonna tell us to measure down 13 inches. It's gonna put us about right above this hole and then to measure in five and cut it. But that's a really tough cut to make. You might risk cutting your fingers. So what we're gonna do is cut straight across at 13 inches and we're not losing any protection with that. Now the texture of the heat shield itself. There's little dimples there and those create a pretty straight line so we'll just go right across those. And we'll come up just above that connection point there. Now you can use 
aviation shears to cut this. You can use a little cutoff wheel, whatever you've got handy. And we can set this portion aside and we'll get this portion reinstalled. Now it's time to get our hardware put in position. We've got three attachment points on each side. We're gonna be using the oblong hole that's here closest to the rear. You've got the rectangular shaped hole there, then the square hole there. Now, for the two rear holes, we're gonna use the smaller of the square hole spacers. For the one closest to the front, we'll be using the longer one. Now to get our hardware in position, we're gonna be using a pull wire. We'll just place that in the hole, direct it forward to that this forward attachment point and that's going to be our access hole. It's going to slide on one of the spacers and thread on one of the carriage bolts. We'll slide those in separately. Pull them back just like that. Now for the forward attachment point we want to use the reverse method so we'll put our block on then thread on our carriage bolt. We'll put the bolt in first. Follow that up with the block and then bring it right back down through. Now we'll go do the same thing for the passenger side. All right, now we've got our pull wires attached here to our bolt still. You can leave those on, put them through the appropriate holes in the hitch, and then use these to guide it up into place. I find it's easier to do it without them, simply because then we don't have to try to hold the hitch up, then remove the pull wire. But it's up to you. If you're gonna do it this way, you definitely don't wanna push the bolts back up into the frame though. Now with the help of an extra set of hands, we'll wanna get the passenger side started up over the exhaust first. Then we'll raise the driver's side up into position. Want our carriage bolts to come down through. And the first thing we'll do is place on a conical tooth washer. We want to make sure the teeth of that face up towards our hitch. And then we can thread on one of the hex nuts. We want to be sure we get one started with about three or four good turns. We can let it rest there while we get the other side going. Now we'll go through and snug down our hardware. Now with everything snug down, it's time to go through and torque each of our bolts down to the appropriate specifications. Those are listed in the instructions. All right, now we'll use a little bit more spray lubricant and we'll get our exhaust lifted back up into position and slide these isolators back in place. All right, then we can take down the strap and our hitch will be ready for use. And with our exhaust back in position, that's gonna complete our installation of the DrawType Max Frame Custom Fit Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 76046 on our 2017 Chrysler Pacifica. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.